Hey drum heads, Little Drummer Boy here, and today I want to do a movie review on Richard Jewell. Um, for those who are younger, you may not know who Richard Jewell is. Richard Jewell, during the 1996 Olympic Park bombing, the Olympics were in Atlanta, the Summer Olympics in 1996, and Richard Jewell was a security guard there. Well, somebody uh, set off a pipe bomb at the Olympic Park in Atlanta during a concert, and it injured a bunch of people and I think killed two. Richard Jewell was a security guard. He wanted to be a cop his whole life. And he was just a salt of the earth kind of guy. Um, big heavy set guy that lived with his mom. and But just a good wholesome guy who was wound up being really misunderstood because he was such a wannabe cop. And, and he did become a cop eventually, but... At, he was working the the Olympic Park bombing, and he discovered the backpack with the bombs in it. And the other cops didn't even pay any attention. They thought it was full of beer. They thought kids were trying to sneak beer into the concert in that backpack. So they didn't even pay it any attention. Well, so they did take, you know, they took it serious when he found it. And the bomb experts found three pipe bombs in it. So immediately they began clearing the area, which saved hundreds of lives. All right, so he was um, he was held as a hero for the first three days, rightfully so. And I always believed he was a hero. When the government tried to put that case on him, I didn't believe it. But anyway, um, the profess the uh, president or dean of a college where he used to work as a security guard didn't like Richard Jewell and thought he was a bit overzealous. And he called the FBI and gave him a tip about this new hero, right? And so anyway, the FBI said, yeah, he lives at home with his mom. He's a white male, middle age, disgruntled, wannabe cop, glory seeker. So the FBI starts putting together a case against this hero with absolutely no freaking evidence. And I can say, you know, I used to hold law enforcement in high regard. I had a lot of respect for law enforcement, and uh, I still highly respect some retired and some active duty law enforcement that I know because I know the caliber of men they are. But things that have happened the last three years to me and trucking and the way our FBI has tried to railroad and run a coup against our duly elected president. It, um, and then, you know, you look at the way the FBI set up a frame job. They, they did Richard Jewell just the way they did Trump uh, 20 years later. Uh, they set up a frame job against Richard Jewell. And uh, his lawyer is the hero of the story, too. Just watch the movie. It's great. But it bring your tissues. I teared up, and I don't know when's the last time I teared up at a movie. Maybe E.T. when I was 12. Um, but bring your tissues. It's, it, it is sad that the living hell that they put this hero and his elderly mother through. Um and it's it's heartbreaking, really. But he wound up being a cop, and he was a he was a cop in a small town in Georgia uh, after the the case was dismissed. And that's when he heard that Eric Rudolph uh, had confessed to the Olympic Park bombing, which I never believed the FBI on that either. Eric Rudolph, he was in the Army of God. He was at a uh, he was a zealot against abortion. And, and I think, you know, abortion is the most evil thing that Satan has ever thought up to get a mother to kill her own child before it's born her own innocent and defenseless child. And, you know, if you don't believe me, why don't you try watching an abortion video? Why don't you watch an abortion if you support it? You know, but anyway, uh, and, you know, we've got the ultrasounds and sonograms and things nowadays. You can see that baby's a baby. I mean, if you're, you know, for anybody that's too dumb to know that life begins at conception and that that's a baby in there, not a dog or a lizard or, you know, just a blob, go look at an ultrasound. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby with as much human rights as you have. And the Bible says that God knew those babies before he conceived them in their womb. God is the author of life. He's the only one that has the right to take innocent life. And if he doesn't want it to be born, guess what, folks? It will be miscarried, okay? And it'll go to heaven. And the abortions go to heaven too, but nobody has the right to take those lives except the author of life who made them. Anyway, I'm getting, to, I'm getting, I'm chasing a rabbit here, but my point is, 
Eric Rudolph, he was an abortion clinic bomber, and he bombed the clinics after, uh, after hours. He didn't want to kill any additional life. It wasn't his fault, because this is what they, uh, what he really went to prison for. Well, and and then they pinned the Olympic Park bombing on him. But he didn't know that the uh, the real rent a cop, the uh, deputy, was having an affair at the abortion clinic with the uh, so-called nurse who's supposed to do no harm but kills babies for a living. So anyway, rightfully so, that when he when he blew up that abortion clinic, it killed the cop who was defending the the baby killing. And it blew out the eye of the nurse who was the baby killer. So rightfully so. I don't feel a bit sorry for him. But anyway, so uh, Eric Rudolph, you know, that was his thing. He was against abortion and he blew up abortion clinics, which I think he was a hero for doing. Well, he had no motive to blow up the uh, Olympic Park bombing. You know, what was his motive? He was out to save lives, not take lives. That's why he blew up abortion clinics. He's trying to stop the killing, right? So anyway, I never agreed. I never. I don't believe they know who did the. Looking back on it now, after 9-11, it was probably somebody from, from uh, it's probably a, a radical jihadist that blew up the uh, Olympic Park bombing. But there was never any evidence that Eric Rudolph did it, no more than there was that Richard Jewell did it, and there was never any motive for either one of them to have done it. So I think Eric Rudolph is just as innocent uh, as Richard Jewell when it comes to the Olympic Park bombing. And for the others, I think he was just a vigilante trying to save babies, and I think it's it was very heroic of him to do. Um, you can imagine, the Bible says Samson killed, I forget how many thousand people with the jawbone of an ass. Could you imagine what Samson would do to abortionists today? I mean, anyway... I'm getting off track here, but y'all go see Richard Jewell. It's an awesome movie. Um, uh, it's it's heart-wrenching, but it's a true story. If you like biographies and true stories, you'll love it. And I think everybody will like this movie. It's, it's gripping from the time you watch it to the very end. Um, but just try to pee first because it's over two hours long. <laughs> and I'm the type, I never want to miss anything. But gosh, it is hard sometimes not going to the bathroom all the way through a movie. But um, I hope y'all have a blessed day and a great weekend. Richard Jewell, I give it five stars. All right, peace. Oh, if you like my content, my movie reviews and my other content, give me a thumbs up, please. And um, like, share, and subscribe. And click on the bell icon to... Um, to uh, to get notifications whenever I upload again. And also, you know, if you uh, watch the video all the way through, give me a comment. Let me know you watched it all the way through. And I will look forward to talking to you in the comment section. Okay, have a blessed day, y'all. Bye.